Now on Coast TV News. The flooding along the coast concerns it is causing. And we've had a steady stream of showers for today. And we've been dealing with the daily to downpours, but things are looking a little better for us for the Easter holiday weekend. Closed signs and locked doors why the Sussex County Courthouse was shut down for the day. Recovery efforts paused at Baltimore's Key Bridge. The federal money being requested as cleanup efforts are underway. This is Coast TV News at 5. Rain has been falling all day and flooding has been just about everywhere. Good evening. I'm Madeline Overturf. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 5. We begin tonight with big floods that are happening throughout the coast. Cars driving through big puddles, plants getting drowned by water, and waves crashing closer to the roads. The constant rain today has caused loads of flooding along the coast. In Ocean City, puddles of water were inching closer to roads in Fenwick. People's backyards and driveways just covered with water. Some people in Fenwick say this is just normal. Flooding is not new in Fenwick. I mean, the, the day we moved in here 20 years ago, we drove through a flooded street, flooded intersection. Flooding was also seen in both Bethany Beach and Dewey Beach. And let's take a live look into the Salisbury area right now. If we're talking about rain, if we're talking about flooding, we need to be talking to our first alert chief meteorologist, Paul Williams. Paul, what are you seeing? I'm seeing a whole lot of rain just dumping on us at a time in which we're just continuing to deal with just the climate change of a lot of the, the water levels just rising naturally. But you add that extra punch of rain and it makes for a very messy and sloshy kind of a Thursday. Our Bay Health camera, for example, in Dover right now, we have the winds coming out of the northwest and our expectation is that the rain is going to continue at the very least in Dover until 8 o'clock. But let's take a look at some of the numbers. We've had nearly an inch for us in Georgetown already, 1.67 in Salisbury. We're catching up a little bit more in Ocean City. Now, here's a look at where the rain is located as of right now. The frontal boundary is just to our west, and we're seeing that general line of shadow shower activity that's now nudging its way off of the coast, which is a good sign. It means we may get a little early break from this rain sticking around a little longer for tonight. That would be a good thing. We can see hit and miss spot showers here, heavier showers along Highway 17 between Selbyville and in ocean view. But look at the accumulations that we have. Approximation, we have nearly an inch and maybe an inch and a quarter near Fenwick Island ocean view for one of our accumulations. And then to our south, we see heavier showers that are pushed through George Island uh, landing as well as Chincoteague. We're still seeing heavy showers down there. We have estimation up to about an inch and a half from Snow Hill uh, Golf Club shores down towards Chincoteague. And that's just the beginning of our concern with this rain. We have more tabulations to pass along to you that are a little more locally driven. But for right now, back to you, Charlie. Thank you. The Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse in Baltimore has now gone from a recovery mission to a salvage operation. Investigators saying that the bodies of two of the six construction workers who died after a cargo ship hit the pillar have been recovered and search efforts have been paused for the other four uh, who are presumed to be dead. In the newsroom, Coast TV News anchor Mallory Metzner. Also new today, the Maryland Department of Transportation has officially requested some emergency relief funding, Mallory. Charlie, Governor Wes Moore says this initial emergency relief request is for immediate response efforts and to begin planning for a rapid recovery. The state is asking for $60 million from the Biden administration. That would pay for debris removal, demolition, traffic management, and other emergency operations. In a letter, the Maryland Transportation Secretary indicates that this is just the beginning. They will need more federal money in alignment with President Biden's commitment to fully cover all costs. Governor Wes Moore is holding his next press briefing at 615 tonight. He will be joined by other elected officials, Maryland State Police, the Coast Guard, the Army Corps of Engineers, and the Maryland Department of Transportation to give updates on the salvage efforts currently underway. Maddie Charlie. Thank you, Mallory. New today, here is footage from above of the Dolly cargo ship. You can also see some crews on the bridge deck checking out what is left of the Francis Scott Key Bridge, mangled bridge there. And you can see the impact the ship had when it collided with it. Now back to the investigation. The NTSB says it's going to take up to two years for them to get a full report on the accident. However, 
that preliminary information that could be available in the next few weeks. And heading to traffic news now, Trap Pond Road between Substation Road and Whaley's Corner Road in Georgetown, that's going to be closed starting next Friday. Del Dot says work is expected to last until Monday, April 8th for the replacement of a crossroad pipe. Water in the court. Sussex County court officials say early Thursday a leak occurred in the ceiling outside of courtroom one. Now, originally it was reported to court officials that the ceiling collapsed. But in reality, one ceiling tile fell. However, the water had to be shut off in the building to find the leak and stop it, so they had to close court for the day. An owner of a pizzeria right across the street from the courthouse was shocked. Uh, we're surprised because we don't, we don't know nothing about it. We see people like, trying to open the door and the door is locked. Like, I usually see many people walking in and out. And they shut the, I don't even know if there was a leak on the... Yeah. Crews are still trying to figure out exactly what caused the leak and how much it's going to cost to fix it. Now, after repairs, the court does believe normal activities will resume on Monday. President Biden's re-election campaign will get a big boost tonight when he's joined in New York by former presidents Barack Obama and Bill Clinton. The lucrative fundraiser reflects the high-powered help Biden is receiving in his bid to beat former President Donald Trump in November. Three U.S. presidents are uniting for a star-studded campaign event in Manhattan Thursday night. But it's hardly a routine meeting of the so-called President's Club. President Joe Biden is hoping for a campaign boost as he appears alongside former President Barack Obama and former President Bill Clinton. That's a lot of star power. Uh, I wish I had a ticket. I'm sure anyone in America would want to, to be at that event. It marks their first joint appearance on behalf of Biden this campaign cycle. The three Democrats are sitting down at Radio City Music Hall for a rare conversation moderated by Stephen Colbert. Uh, all three have... Uh, agree overwhelmingly on the issues that this president has been fighting for. This comes after aides confirmed that Obama will make several campaign appearances before November, hoping to prevent another Trump term. I think he can be a tremendous asset uh, in terms of reaching uh, not just uh, the average American, but obviously the Latinos, uh, the young people, uh, the minorities that are going to be critical to uh, to Joe Biden if he's going to win this election. Tickets for tonight's event range from $225 to $500,000. Biden's re-election campaign announced Thursday that this evening's event has already raised more than $25 million. Speaking of money, the Biden campaign has an edge when it comes to cash on hand. Biden ended February with $71 million in available cash in his principal campaign account. That's more than twice the $33.5 million in cash reserves held by the Trump campaign. Reporting in Washington, I'm Julia Benbrook. A number of celebrities and artists are attending the sold-out high-dollar event tonight, including Queen Latifah, Lizzo, and Mindy Kaling. In your health news, legislation on hospital cost management is causing controversy. The bill was met in the chamber in Delaware with opposition from multiple hospitals. House Bill 350 would require approval of annual hospital budgets, beginning with budgets for calendar year 2026. An oversight committee would be responsible for that. However, the Delaware Health Care Association adamantly against it, saying placing control of hospital costs in the hands of politicians, quote, poses a grave threat to quality health care in the state. The bill was voted to be released from committee. It does now move forward. And this brings us right into our Coast TV poll. What we want to know tonight is what is your stance on political oversight in hospital budgets? Let's take a look at the results so far. A majority, but not a large majority, are saying they do support some oversight, though 46% say they believe the hospitals should have their own autonomy. And I'll be interested to see, you know, sometimes these fluctuate throughout the day, how this changes, especially on a close vote. You can go vote. Be a part of this at coasttv.com or use our Coast TV mobile app. If you see a helicopter flying over Sussex County this weekend, it's likely mosquito spraying. That's a good thing, right? Denrec says a helicopter will spray areas where there's a lot of trees and a lot of water, which often have a lot of mosquitoes. Just some of the areas to be sprayed include Rehoboth, Seaford, Ocean View, and Ellendale. 
The agency says a special kind of bug spray that is safe for people, animals, and the environment, that's what's going to come out of the helicopter. Spraying is set to start at 7 a.m. tomorrow, going until Monday at till at least 7.30 p.m. Coming up, this boat ramp near Magnolia is ready for use after its revamp. Details and the improvements that aim to better serve boaters. And we've been tracking heavy downpours all day long, and we'll have the latest on the totals and the findings on this first alert forecast day. First, new details of Home Depot's historic billion dollar acquisition. That's up next. After numerous successful shower renovations, we've heard your feedback loud and clear. You're craving more than just a shower. You desire a complete bathroom transformation from Baths by Spicer Brothers. We're reimagining your entire space, from digital design to meticulous craftsmanship. Every aspect will be customized to fit your unique style and needs. And right now, save up to 20% off your new project. Plus, no payments and no interest until 2026. Don't settle for less. Call Baths by Spicer Brothers today because you deserve the best. The beauty is hard to miss at Ocean City's premier golf course, Eagles Landing. Voted the number one golf course in Maryland by our players. Eagles Landing offers five sets of tees, making the course playable for beginners and challenging for most skilled golfers. Local residents receive discounted rates and earn points that can be used for free golf with our local rewards program. Find our best rates at eagleslandinggolf.com today. Eagles Landing, upholding the tradition of the game. Hi, I just had to tell you Bally Casino has partnered with Bet Rivers in Delaware. We've got lots and lots of exciting slots and table games to play. With really fast payouts and a reward program you'll love! Plus, with award-winning customer service, the excitement never stops. Is this awkward? So get ready, casino fans! And... Brittany. Brittany! Bet Rivers and Bally Casino, together in Delaware. Download the app today. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Yeah. Sick. Whoa. Oh yeah. Right now, buy a spacious Highlander with low 3.99 APR financing from Toyota, or get low financing on a new adventure ready RAV4. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. This is Coast TV News at 5. New today, Home Depot with a big purchase, buying SRS distribution in a deal valued at $18.25 billion, that's billion with a B. Texas-based SRS sells supplies to roofing, landscaping, and pool contractors. Home Depot is working to build its business with professionals as many of its 2,300 stores face some declining sales. Owned by private equity firms, SRS has more than 700 locations and 4,000 trucks to take materials to work sites. Not even the Easter Bunny can escape inflation. You can expect your Easter basket to cost a lot more this year, and that's because chocolate prices are surging. Experts say it's only expected to get worse, I'm sorry to say. Retail chocolate prices rose over 11% in 2023. Experts point to adverse weather conditions and crop diseases in West Africa, where 70% of the world's cocoa is produced. To combat rising costs and dwindling supply, many candy companies are touting other options to fill out Easter, Easter baskets. In 2023, kind of interesting here, non-chocolate candies saw a 12% increase. It's all going up. <laughs> the glass of wine that you love so much, I've got some bad news for you. You might have not all that much time left for it uh, because of a newly published review. Scientists are saying 90% of the world's wine growing regions, the places they grow the, the grapes, well, they could be in trouble by the end of the century. The problem is climate change. Growing grapes suitable for wine depends on very specific temperatures, precipitation, humidity, a review says more droughts and heavy heat waves may make grape production impossible. Regions that could be impacted, listen to this, it includes Spain, Italy, Greece, and Southern California. Well, many have already said, hey, we've had our fill of rain for the day, but will Mother Nature agree? We're still tracking additional showers, but we may have a little sliver of hope. I'll explain why and what I'm tracking in a moment. Oh, porches. 
Hello, aren't you the guy I see on TV, the porch protection guy? Yeah, I so would say. So they're made of marine grade materials that last for years? Yeah, I would And go. they say I could use my porch all year round? I think and so. And they keep the dirt pollen and rain and wind out? And, and the custom made right here locally? They are. I got to run, but it was really nice talking to you. Well, it was nice talking to you, too. Call or visit porchprotection.com for your free quote. Enjoy 10 songs in a row. Sponsored by Pohanga Kier of Salisbury. Right now, it's your choice during the Subaru A Lot to Love event going on at Gateway Subaru. Choose what fits your lifestyle and budget. Choose to lease a new 2024 Subaru Forester for only $2.99 a month or take advantage of financing rates as low as 0.9%. Choose to lease a new 2024 Subaru Outback for only $2.99 a month or take advantage of financing rates as low as 1.9%. Gateway Subaru, where every choice leads to a new adventure. Love, it's what makes a Subaru a Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. When choosing windows and doors for your home, at Pella, it's your choice. We manufacture maintenance-free vinyl, fiberglass, and wood-clad windows and patio doors, all with lifetime warranties. High performance, energy efficient, and loaded with options to help make your house your home. Industry-first features and benefits make living easier and increase your home's value. Visit our Experience Center or call us today to schedule your free in-home consultation, where we bring the showroom to you. Last night on Wheel. Look what you want. Oh my gosh. A contestant won. One hundred thousand dollars. Will the good luck continue? Thursday at seven on Coast TV. From gentle ocean breezes to small country towns, Sussex County has it all. That's why you need a real estate company that is familiar with it all. Man and Sons offers decades of experience throughout Sussex County. Whether it's helping you purchase your forever home or find the perfect vacation rental at the beach, trust our experience. Trust Man and Sons. For over 30 years, the difference is clear. Man and Sons Real Estate. This weather is brought to you by Man and Sons Real Estate. Before we get started, quick reminder pull out the phone, scan the QR codes, so you can have the latest version of our app. Our Tyndall's Casual Furniture. Uh, camera showing you the evidence of what we've been experiencing all day long. A deluge of downpours that really hasn't backed down the entire day. And I don't see it coming to an end maybe until about 9 o'clock, which actually, according to when you compare that to our earlier trackings and forecast models, it's actually a little bit early because we thought it would go until midnight. So we have a little sliver of hope. Here's the reason why. We see the back end of that rain already coming into play. So that could indicate perhaps an early ending or wrapping up the scattered showers. We still see heavier downpours with some embedded possible thunderstorms down towards Chincoteague, but all that is sliding towards the north. But the irony is because of the movement of the line in general, looks like it may just swing around us as far as the most intense cells that we're tracking at this time. See, when you dig into this, you've got to see we're looking at right along the coast. We're seeing a mixture of heavy and light scattered showers, but it's revolving right back behind one another. But the heaviest have been hitting areas like George uh, Island Landing, Snow Hill, Golf Club Shores, as well as now over towards the Ocean City area. So it's this plume of heavy showers that we're keeping a close eye on. It's developing and enlarging as it moves, but we're going to continue to track that it hasn't prompted any severe thunderstorm warning or anything like that but we're keeping a close eye on it by the way the amount of accumulation we're looking at nearly two where you see blue and over an inch where you see green that's our estimation as far as accumulation is concerned so when you look at this near gray's corner for example over one and a quarter but also in some of the green areas we're over an inch at least for example near waterbury drive duke's dune road ocean view towards wellington parkway and we're seeing over an inch of rain along holtz landing road just as an example of our estimation that we're keeping a close eye on but look at this line it's pulling its way all the way through this high pressure system is pushing the rain a little bit harder than the initial models were indicating that's a good thing but take a look at the damage that's already happened. Nearly two inches of rain from Dagsboro down towards Laurel, and we had over an inch and a half in Prime Hook. We've had over an inch and a half, 1.67 in Salisbury so far, nearly an inch in Georgetown, another listing of the rain, an inch and a half or more from Stockley to Lewis, Jones, Crossroads, Ellendale had 1.66, just as an example there. Our future cast by eight o'clock, we're looking at some scattered showers still staying heavy from Long Neck to Ocean Pines along Highway 
50 as you come from Willards over towards Ocean Pines at 8 o'clock. Now, as we go to, let's say, 10 o'clock, we see it lightening up and becoming less for Seaford and Del Mar, but still staying pretty steady from Lewis down towards, let's say, Ocean City. Then keep in mind, this should begin to come to an end by 2 o'clock. Now, this is our forecasting models, but our actual radar is looking like it may wind up a little bit earlier, and we could only just hope for that. Temperatures in the 40s for right now. Wind speeds are out of the northwest. The next thing we have to watch out for is the cold that kicks in tomorrow thanks to the wind and the drop in temperatures. You see at 1.30, we're looking at 20 mile per hour winds out of the northwest by Friday, then up to 32 mile per hour winds near lunchtime, and then nearly 40 by the afternoon. This wind and this cold for Friday is going to be nothing short of brutal. It's going to feel that way. And our future gusts are going to reflect that uh, really for the next few days. I mean, the kind of wind we're talking about is the kind that will take your garbage can and fling it on out of the way because it's going to be in excess of 28 miles per hour. So for tonight, overcast and cold, staying wet in 38. Tomorrow, cloudy and an abrasive breeze is what I'll call this because we could get up to 30 plus mile per hour wind gusts. Saturday, chilly early, but then a slight risk of rain, but we are going to get a little bit better by the time we get to Saturday. And for Easter, by the way, Easter Sunday, we're expecting to wake up to a good deal of sunshine and we'll not have to deal with the rain until we get to, let's say, Sunday or Easter night. Finally, here's a look at the extended forecast. Uh, we are indeed calling for uh, that scattered shower activity to come back by Monday. Thank you, Paul. The boat ramp at Scott and Landing near Magnolia is now up and running. Denrec announced Wednesday that the reconstructed boat ramp on the St. Jones River that you see in the picture on your screen here, it's now ready for spring boaters and anglers. Over $800,000 was spent, also including a repaved parking lot. Design features of the new ramp include extending the ramp into deeper water that helps boaters launching at low tide. If you like to hunt in Delaware, here's some dates you want to remember for the upcoming spring. Well, I'll tell you about that a little bit later, but first we're going to talk about Easter right here, Charlie. We are. You're going to start your Easter Sunday with praise and celebration with sunrise sermons. Join us for an hour of inspirational workshop with three local pastors and music from award-winning Christian music group, Sela. You can watch this special at 1030 a.m. on Coast TV. Still to come. Not happy with your utility bill? Help save energy by replacing your outdated, inefficient windows. At Spicer Brothers, we install new replacement windows and new construction series windows, built for extreme weather and high energy efficiency. And quality installation is just as important as the window itself. And you can have peace of mind on your new windows with the Spicer Brothers Platinum Plus Lifetime Warranty. And right now, buy two windows and get one free. Plus, no interest and no payments for 18 months. Spicer Brothers, because you deserve the best. Del Marva's hit music station, 1025 WBOC. Ashley's tent event is going on now. The tents are up, and prices on furniture have never been lower. This week only, shop Adirondack chairs starting at just $199. Your choice, four-piece outdoor sectional or outdoor sofa at $9.99. Plus, shop outdoor dining sets, just $8.88. Plus, enjoy next-day delivery with free assembly. You don't want to miss the tent event. Going on now, only at Ashley. Located in tax-free Millsboro, Delaware. Have you been putting off correcting your smile? Consider Smiles Correct Clear Aligners from Tillman Orthodontics. We'll reach out to your insurance for you. And provide interest-free in-house financing. I got free financing and made easy monthly payments. Smiles Correct Aligners are made right here at Tillman Orthodontics. Unlike other clear aligners, at Tillman Orthodontics, the materials, the contours, and the treatment plans are fully customizable. A customized plan just for me. Did the sun come out or is it my smile? You can only get Smiles Correct at Tillman Orthodontics, so call today. The next Jeopardy Invitational Tournament has Ken asking, What is the secret of being a world-class Jeopardy player? Thursday at 7.30 on Coast TV. Get live satellite and radar. Download the free Coast TV First Alert weather app. Sponsored by Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling. You may think your home's crawl space is okay, but chances are it's not. Mold? Pests and rotting beams can all cause problems for your home and for your family. The good news is your home's crawl space problems can be fixed permanently so you and your family can rest easy because crawl space problems won't get better with time, but they will get better with us. Call Dry Zone today for your free estimate. Brought to you by Dry Zone, your local crawl space experts.
This story just pulls your heartstrings. These four French bulldogs you see on your screen, they were stolen Monday by six people who broke into a house in Dover. Look at this video here. You can see caught on camera, they break into a breeder's home on West Denny's Road. Now, nobody was home when those suspects arrived. It was around 9 p.m. Police say at least one of them had an assault rifle. You can see them there with the dogs. They took those four dogs. State police are actively still looking for them. That's unbelievable. New today, a Somerset County man is facing several charges following a hit and run in Salisbury. State police say 27-year-old Jamal Scarborough was arrested after a chase near the Salisbury Regional Airport Wednesday morning. Police say an off-duty trooper saw Scarborough swerving into traffic in an attempt to get by a work zone. The 27-year-old reportedly ended up running over the orange casings placed on the road by the utility crew and then ran over one of the workers. The 64-year-old worker is currently being treated for injuries and the driver being held without bond at the Wicomico County Detention Center. Police say the crash is still under investigation. Coming up, how you can make a difference in a furry friend's life this National Adoption Week. Stay tuned on Coast TV News at 5. Friday and Saturday only, don't miss Johnny Janosik's two-day sale. Get up to an extra $500 off our everyday low prices, plus up to 60-month special financing. Friday and Saturday only, and only at Johnny Janosik. When migraine strikes, do you question the trade-offs of treating? Ubrelvi is another option. It works fast to eliminate migraine pain. Do not take with strong CYP3A4 inhibitors. Allergic reactions to Ubrelvi can happen. Most common side effects were nausea and sleepiness. Ask about Ubrelvi. Macy's VIP sale is truly the best time to shop with an extra 30% off designer brands. Plus beauty lovers get 15% off too. Get ready for spring today at Macy's. It's Ram Truck Month at Preston Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram of Millsboro. With qualifying credit, save over $12,000 on the 2024 Ram 1500 Laramie Crew Cab 4x4. With every new purchase, you'll get our Preston for Life lifetime engine guarantee. Shop the deals online at MillsboroCDJR.com. Order online and we'll deliver to you. Come check out the amazing deals at the Ram Truck Month sales event at Preston Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Cars cost less with Preston. When I decided to have my kitchen done, I knew I wanted it done professionally. And that's when I contacted Ellen. She took me to the Delmarva Design Center. From the moment I bring a customer into Delmarva Design Center, the ideas start to flow. First thing we do is take a stroll around the showroom so we can look at all the different vignettes to get ideas of what they like and see what they react to. For each of the different aspects that I wanted to change in my kitchen, there were experts here and everyone was so helpful. They listened to what I had to say and they had great ideas that helped me put together exactly what I wanted for my kitchen. My goal is to have the customer enjoy their space as quickly as possible and Del Marva Design Center helps me do that. My kitchen is one of my favorite places now. It's something that I use every single day of my life. I'm elated with my experience at the Del Marva Design Center. Del Marva Design Center. Great design starts with great inspiration. Selbyville, Delaware. Let Johnny Janosik help make your outdoor space more relaxing and enjoyable. Shop now and take 10% off all outdoor clearance items. And remember to take advantage of our great financing options for a limited time only at Johnny Janosik. Did you know this week is National Adoption Week? So this week, the Brandywine Valley SPCA is teaming up with PetSmart Charities. Special adoption events are planned at the Rehoboth Beach PetSmart on Saturday from 11 to 4 and the Millsboro location at the same time on Sunday. Well, we take a look at our forecast, and I'm looking to see what time is it? Is it time for us to get rid of this rain? I mean, we're looking at temperatures in the 40s, and it's staying overcast with light rain in our area. Keep in mind, here's a look at your exclusive 10-day forecast. Good Friday for Friday. We're going to be good and dry, but it's going to be good and cold as well. Easter Sunday's looking a whole lot milder, a whole lot warmer, and we'll look out for another round of rain by the time we get to next Monday and Tuesday. Thank you, Paul, and thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 5. For more news, for more local weather, download our Coast TV News app. Inside Edition is up next. And we're going to see you tonight for Coast TV News at 6. Have a great evening.